How's everyone doing? My name is Marcus Banks of M Banks Music, and today I'm here to express my opinion on sampling. It was a question posed by Hope Evans of Chicago. So, shout out to Hope. So, my opinion on sampling if I had to put one word on it, I would say great. The reason why I think sampling is great, it allows me as a producer to look at a whole bunch of genres that you wouldn't often see used as a hip hop backdrop. I know recently I chopped up some country I don't hear a lot of country samples being you know, used for major projects or anything like that. But basically, I feel that sampling is like a new adventure. Every time I sample something, it's like a new adventure because I've never experienced the same sample you know like I can experience a sample one day it could be a rock sample next day it could be a soul sample and it, the music just has such a different feel and such a different vibe that when I make a beat from any of these samples it takes on a new meaning to me entirely so that's why I think sampling is great. You know, there are a lot of people outside of hip hop and even some inside of hip hop don't like sampling. And, you know, to each their own, because, you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion. Um, hip hop started with sampling, and there's always going to be sampling in hip hop. It's always good to be able to do both, you know. It's be it's good to be able to say, oh, you know, if I need to, I can compose a record. Especially as a producer, you know, you you want to cover your bases and make sure that you can sample, or you know, you don't have to sample. And, but you don't have to compose either but you know it's helpful to be able to do both but back to sampling it just opens my eyes and my ears to so many different genres which is why I like sampling a lot and I would have to say a majority of my production, what people know me for, is I would have to say my sample selection. Even in A3C, I would have to say what stood out to people that heard my music or the other producers, both in the contest and those that were judging the showcase, they all were intrigued with my sample selection which is something I take pride in, you know, I take pride in how I choose my samples and how I pick my samples. I might use something that somebody else has used before, but I try to, when when I get a sample, I try to flip it like, like I would want it flip, you know, add my own spin to it, you know, it, there will be samples that, you know, have been used and used again and used over by various producers. But, you know, that's why I like sampling. You can have one sample and you could give it to 20 different producers. And I guarantee you they'll flip it 20 different ways. There's so many things you can do. And I just feel that sampling allows you know, sample producer, there's a mood for every record, and sample producers know this. 
For every piece of music you hear, there's a specific mood to the music. And, you know, being a sample based producer, you're exposed to so much that for a producer that samples and enjoys sampling, um, I would have to say that sampling in itself is like a kid or any, any gamers out there. When they get a new game, that's the feeling <laughs> for uh, sample based producers that, you know, they just thrive on sampling. And, you know, I take nothing away from anybody that dislikes sampling. And I won't even argue for sampling or against sampling, you know, because it's just a part of the culture. You know, to each his own. Um, so, to each their own. And uh, this is Marcus Banks just saying, you know, I love production. And I, you know, hope to be around for a long, long time. Uh, being able to produce for various artists. And stay tuned for my next video. Any questions that you have? This is part of the Inbanks music series. Um, any questions that you have, leave a comment. And like I said in the last video, me and my team will sit through the comments and we'll answer many of these questions. I also would like to take the time to announce coinciding with this series right here next year i will start my ustream show and that's still in the works a lot of planning is being done but i've already booked some of the guests that will appear on the show and i won't spoil anything i'll just leave it at that but you know i appreciate everyone all their support and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.